Hey y'all, it's Liz. How are you? Hey look, I just wanted to come and, and just um, clarify some things about a video I had just done about the young lady who doesn't take care of herself or her children. And I we talked to, uh, in the video I said that she had went out and she had prostituted. Now, and I said, well, you know, whatever you got to do, I mean, I'm all for it. My thing is, when I say that, what I mean, and I mean just what I say basically, is that I know that you guys aren't always going to agree with what I say or the advice that I give, um, but I can tell you this. I know, I personally have never known a prostitute. It's the, I do know that it is the oldest women's or woman's um, um, profession in the world. Prostitution has been around since women has been around. You know, since females have been around. Um, it's, a, it's an old profession. Um, it's nothing new. It's not like it's a shocker to anybody. Um, but I personally have never known a prostitute. But I can tell you that um, she was doing it at that time to take care of her four babies. Okay? It's not the right thing to do. Maybe not. I wouldn't want my child to be out prostituting, but my situation and my daughter's situation is a whole lot different than what hers is. I don't know what kind of upbringing she had. I don't know what kind of education she has, um, but I'm going to tell you, the way the economy is and the recession and all this other bullshit, it's hard to get a goddamn job at McDonald's and Burger King, you know? I don't know about prostitution, but I do know I've... When I worked in the bar up in Alabama, um, we where my where the bar was that I managed, about a mile and a half down the road was a strip joint. And we used to get the girls, they would come in before they go to work to have drinks and stuff. And I'm gonna tell you, I ran into a 19-year-old, but this wasn't the first time. Very pretty girl. She was going to George C. Wallace College um, in Dothan at the time. And she had a really nice apartment, um, and the bitch was driving a brand new Mercedes. Yeah. She got all that from stripping. And I asked her, do you make that kind of money there? Stripping? Shit, I'm bartending. Do you make that kind of money? And she was like, well, I have regular clients. Whether she was a prostitute um, on the side, I don't know, and it's none of my business. But I do know that she explained to me that... This was the way to make the money for her to go to college. And she made damn good money. You know? Um, she had several of them, several repeat customers that were, <clears throat> excuse me, businessmen or, um, you know, high, high up men in that county that would come in. And they would basically take care of her. Several of them. You know? She was doing she was doing it to pay for her college. She was getting a college education. She was stripping on the side. God knows if she was prostituting, I don't know. You know, but um, she had the best of everything, plus getting her education. I feel like if a woman, I don't, ju I'm not judging her. If if that's what she does for a living, I know it's a terrible thing uh, because of the fact that. She could be taking money out of my kid's mouth by sleeping with my husband. But luckily, uh, that motherfucker pays me. So he don't have any money to be paying nobody else to be sleeping with. So I really don't worry too much about that. But prostitution has always been a part of the society. It always will be. Women do it. It's um, If they're doing it, to, if their intentions are good, and they're doing it to feed their children, then so be it. I'm not going to judge them. Would I be friends with someone like that? Yeah, I probably would. You know, because that, just because someone prostitute does not mean that they are a low life or a nasty person. And the reason I say that is, I know, I don't know any prostitutes, but I know a whole bunch of motherfucking hoes that gives their shit away for free. They could be giving it to my husband. They could be giving it to your man for free. At least some women have enough common sense that, hey, if you want some of this, you're going to have to pay for it. 
because this shit don't come cheap. And I'd like to think that I would be, I think I'd be a pretty good motherfucking prostitute. Yeah. I wouldn't even let you look at it. You can't even look at it without paying for it. But Steve, Steve said no one's going to buy mine. I don't know why, but he said no one would. But anyways, that's not what we're talking about. I have, you know, I don't look down on these women who do this. Um, like I said, you know, hey, to each his own. You know? Um, there's a lot of risks when you're a prostitute. Hell, there's a lot of risks when you're a hoe. So, I know I do know one thing. I read in a Cosmopolitan magazine, it probably been 20 years ago, where women were making, I mean, you know, 30 minutes of play with, with a prostitute could run a guy, you know, 400, 500 damn dollars. Is that right? Nowadays, it's like $2,500 for an all-nighter. An all-nighter? Look, I don't know about no all-nighter because I think after, after about 10 minutes of actually doing it, you ain't doing nothing but doing yourself because Liz is asleep. I'm tired. I'm just like, fuck it. At 10, okay, 10 minutes, time's up. You know, you, you need to roll over and do something else with yourself. I'm, I'm done. That's why I couldn't be a damn prostitute, I don't think. Because, you know, like 10 minutes, I'm just like, hey, um, you think you can get up? Go wash your ass, do something, because I, I'm tired. I can't go no more after 10 minutes. That's because I'm, I'm fat. I'm pig. So I can't go more than 10 minutes. I'm like, oh, hell no. You know, it's like, wow, do you like this? At 10 minutes, it's like, motherfucker, get up. Just get off of me, okay? You know? But I just, I couldn't be anything that, I couldn't be a stripper, jumping out of a cake. I couldn't do that shit. You know, I got to jump out of a shit. I'll probably eat the goddamn cake before I could jump out of it. I probably eat the whole goddamn cake, knowing me, you know, before I could jump out of it. You know, I don't like wearing all that sexy shit, you know, and, and fishnet stockings and I'm, I'm too confined. I can't do it. I, I could be butt naked for you, but I, I can't be wearing all that, that sexy masks and, uh, you know, whips and chains. I can't do all that bullshit, but that's just me. You know, um, but I personally, like I said, you know, I know that you guys aren't going to always agree with what I say. Um, and like I said, I, I wouldn't want my daughter to do it. But I think deep in my heart, I think that if she chose to be a prostitute, as much as I would hate it, she's my child and I love her unconditionally. Um, this woman... I don't believe she's doing it now because the last of that, that letter was they don't work, they're living off handouts and government assistance. So I don't know if she's prostituting now or not. I know the, the young lady said that she did at one time was prostituting to feed her children because she had a sorry ass man who wouldn't help even though he was living up in there getting booty and shit but he wasn't helping pay no bills. Steve says, and you can ask him, Steve will tell you, I pay, I pay Liz. He pays me. You know, I wash his clothes, I cook for him every now and then. Mama basically cooks. Um, I, I, you know, raise the babies. Um, I, um, when he's sick, I take care of him. And yes, I do have playtime with him. And that's what costs him the most money is that playtime. You know? You got to pay if you want to play. It's not the same thing as prostitution, though. You know, because if it is, I think he should give me more damn money on a weekly basis. Prostitutes get paid every night. This motherfucker pays me every week. I think he's been cheating me, though. I'm going to have to talk to him about this situation. But, um, yeah, so don't be, you know, I know that that, that kind of upset one of my subbies. I was like, damn, Liz, you know, come on. You know better than that. You usually give good advice, but this one about the prostitution, but I, you know, to be honest, I'm, I'm the type that if it takes that and we as women, we will go through fucking fire to do whatever we have to do to put food on our table for our babies and to clothe them and to keep a roof over their heads. At least I would. And I would like to honestly think deep down inside that if I had to go lay on my goddamn back, that I could do it for my children. You know, the government assistance only going to give you just enough just enough you wouldn't even barely make it you wouldn't even hardly get by so 
Some people feel like, hey, I can get government assistance and still go turn turn some tricks. You know, make a little extra money. There, you know, all of women's intentions are not bad. You know, a lot of prostitutes, and I've read this in magazines and 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 stuff like that, and articles. They do it for one reason or another. Some do it to, you know, um, keep up their drug habits. I think those are more like hookers. Hookers. I think there's a difference between hookers and prostitutes. I think I I don't want, if I was going to be, I don't want to have a John because I don't want to pay nobody nothing. I don't want that motherfucker beating my ass either. That's why I'd have to be my own independent boss where I pick and choose who I sleep with. You know, some of these women make good goddamn money. I'm telling you, you know. I know it's it's kind of scary to think about because how about if my man's out there giving them money to help support their children? And, and my thing is, unless you're the daddy of them, uh, don't be out there supporting them. You know, not my man. Now, if your man's doing it, that's between y'all. But I think like this. Women will do, some women will do whatever it takes to take care of their babies, their youngins. And there's nothing wrong with it, you know. Like I said, prostitution is not new. It's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years, and it's going to continue to be around. And it's not just uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry that, that's out paying for this. We're talking about there's people in, in Congress. There's people um, in the state level. There's doctors, lawyers, musicians, actors. People pay, you know, $2,500. This was a couple of years back or a few years back, $2,500 for an all-nighter. I don't know what the fuck you're doing all night because you can't be doing Liz all night, but I don't know what you're doing all night, but $2,500? I mean, now, you you hear women saying, well, you know, um, on the weekend, I might make five, $6,000. Well, damn. You know? Some women say, you can't even look at this shit for less than 1000 I don't know. I think I let you look at mine for less than a thousand. You couldn't touch it, but I let you look at it. Shit. You wanted to kiss it, it cost you a little bit more. But we don't do tit for tat, so don't ask me to kiss yours either. Because I, unless you're going to, I mean, even if you paid me, I don't think I would. I don't, I don't think I would. I don't know. Depends on what you go, baby. But anyways, I'm just bullshit. Let me quit playing so much shit. For y'all think I'm a hooker or a whore or a prostitute. I'm Steve's prostitute. <laughs> yeah, but he already told me nobody's going to pay me. Anyway, not as much as he pays me. We're going to have to have a talk. <laughs> I think I'm worth a little bit more than what he's giving me on a weekly basis. Anyway, so, um, yeah... But, um, you know, I, I do feel that, you know, if someone is prostituting to take care of their family, so be it, you know. Um, and, and just so they, you know, a lot of women know this. There's a lot of risks when you prostitute. There's a lot of risk when you're a hooker. There's a lot of risks when you're just out there, period, sleeping with a dude. But for me, I would rather get paid for laying up with some dude than not getting paid. That's me. And that's the truth. You know, I'd rather, I'd rather, you know, um, what, you gonna buy me a beer at the club? A dollar, uh, what, a dollar twenty-five for the beer? And then I'm gonna go back and fuck you all night? Mm -mm. How about this? How about you pay me five hundred and we go back and I give you ten minutes worth of pleasure? Or thirty minutes worth of pleasure? Five hundred dollars. See, that's the difference. You know, the prostitute's going to make her money. She That motherfucker's not going to lay down. She ain't going to touch you. She ain't even going to look at you without money on the table. Whereas a hoe will just be like, fuck it, okay, uh, just give me some hubba bubba bubble gum and let's go do it. No, that's not the way it works. So, I don't believe she's prostituting now. I didn't say that she was still prostituting, but even if she is, um, she's got four babies to support, and I know it's easier said than done to go get a job at goddamn McDonald's and Burger King, but even them motherfucking jobs are hard to come by. So, what's a girl to do? What's a mama to do? You know? Um, 
I'm not going to judge her, and I say that if that's what she's doing and, and she's taking care of her children, so be it, you know. But anyways, I know that we're not always going to agree on everything, and it is okay to agree to disagree, so we'll just keep moving on. Anyways, I just want to throw that out there to you guys to let you know. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying... It's okay for, well, yeah, hell I am. If that's what you fucking want to do, you want to go lay on your back and make some money, then do it. You know, I personally don't want my daughter doing it. I wouldn't do it, you know. Um, but like I said, I don't know her background. I don't know her upbringing. I don't know her education. You know, I don't know any of that. But I do know this. I don't want my daughter to do it. But if she did, I would still love her unconditionally. Um, but I would like to think that I would go to the ends to make sure that she never has to be in that situation. But that's just me. That's me. So, and I'm sure that this woman who is out there prostituting is not saying, oh man, I'm a prostitute and I'm going to teach my daughters this so they can do the same thing. I don't believe a prostitute, not all prostitutes want that for their children, for their daughters. You know, Next topic, how about these gigolos? How about these men who get paid? We never talk about that. God damn it, there's some out there. I know there is. There's men out there that get paid for sex. These old rich women who ain't got nothing better to do with their money go drop, you know, $100, $200 to have someone, you know, lay up with them or, or you know. It happens. Prostitution, the oldest occupation for women in the world. The oldest it's going to be around long after we're gone. You know, I'm just glad that they upped the ante on it. It ain't like five bucks or three dollars to touch it. Now you pay in, you know, a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollars just to even look at it. So, I, I, think so I, th I think that I would let somebody look at mine for a couple of hundred dollars. You just stay back there and just look. You know, I quit. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Okay. Well, y'all have a great day. Deuces to you. I just wanted to bring that to you. Yeah. Something to think about. Um, we as women, we walk through fire. We'll do whatever we have to for our kids. And that's, that's, that's just the way life is. And it's been like that from the beginning of time. All right. Deuces, y'all. Have a good one. I wait for Steve to come home because me and him are going to have to have a serious talk about some money. I think I'm doing too much. All right, you guys have a great one. I'll talk to you soon. Deuces.